My liege, you called me. How can I assist you? Question for me. I'm just a knight. I'm not sure if there's any questions I can actually answer for you, but... What is your question? No, it's true that I have not married, but not because I've not found anyone that I care about. I just... Well, it's a bit of a delicate, awkward matter, if I'm being honest with you, my liege. If I may, an explanation. I have, for years, served you. Even before you became king, when you were prince, I have served you. And in that time, I have grown to appreciate you a great deal. You can imagine. I just... <clears throat> I, um... It would be safe to say that I have grown very attached to you, my liege. I would hate for anything to happen to you, and I will protect you with my life. And if I can lay my life down for you, then I will have done my duty as a knight. I'm sure that doesn't... I I'm sure that doesn't change anything. I just... I understand that you haven't found a partner. That you have not wed. I was curious about that myself. Were there no offers or uh, no uh, treaties or... I'm not entirely sure how the royal line works. At least, I know how it works in other kingdoms, but not our own. I was under the impression that the king was not allowed to marry whomever they wished. I always understood it that the king must marry for the kingdom, so whether it's to keep peace or something along those lines. Hmm. But I know your question was why I haven't wed. I just... There's only one person for me. But because of my station, because of theirs, I don't think I can ever... I don't think that I could ever approach them with this. I'm sure you, of all people, would understand that. Given that you are the king, and you must marry for duty, not for love. You know, you've grown into a fine man. In all the years I've known you, it seems as though you've grown firmer, stronger, more confident. A leader who inspires, who I would follow into the depths of hell if I'm being honest. I just... I... Sorry. I'm sorry, my liege. I'm not trying to be... No, I'm not trying to suck up to you. I'm merely voicing my appreciation for you. Did you have another question for me? Yes, my lord. Tell you more about this person. I... <clears throat> as you command, my lord. 
and they are a strong person. Bold, but respectful. They have a very strong brow. Uh, not that that matters, mind you. But they carry about them an elegance, a brightness. There's a certain dignity with the way they carry themselves. And every time I look upon them into their eyes, I see so much there, so much depth. Just. I. I'm avoiding your eye contact. I did not realize that, my lord. Do you wish me to look into your eyes, then? To look upon you the way I look at them? <laughs> my lord, I... I must protest, that seems a bit... Yes, my lord. You'll find that it is easy for me to do. That is because the person that I speak of, my lord. That... That person is you, my king. I... I have no right, I have no... <clears throat> My lord... Are you... Are you certain that that's... Okay? I always assumed that you'd see me more as a brother or an underling. I never, I never once thought that you'd actually see me as more than a knight. Truly, you have shown me more respect than anyone in court, but of all the people in the world, of all the people in our kingdom, You mean to say that you have these feelings for me, too? I won't deny it, my liege. I look upon you, and my heart swells, and I know that I love you. I would be willing to do whatever it is you command. But I don't know that I can... <clears throat> I know, I think too much sometimes. You've always told me that my overthinking is a problem. <laughs> but I guess I mean to say that I feel... I must be unworthy. Is it not possible that I am unworthy of you, my lord? Because of my low birth, my, my station, I just... You're right. You're right. I... I... My head's sw swimming. My heart is pumping. I just... Are you certain, my Yes, my lord. I love you too.
I never thought that I would have this. I dreamed of it, Sean. Dreamed of it day in, day out. Your lips. Your lips set me ablaze. I, I do, I do wish for more, I wish for all of you, but I believe you're about to be summoned, my lord. Perhaps we can discuss this more, um, at your convenience, of course. I understand it's not an inconvenience to you. I think I understand that more now. I just... I don't wish to speak above my station. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll stop. I'll stop. Do you truly think me an equal? Then yes, we will discuss this perhaps tonight over dinner. Are you worried at all about what the other people in court will think? Cross that bridge when we get there, you say? There's that infamous boldness of yours, my liege. <sighs> okay. Then, yes, we'll discuss it then. Thank you, my lord. I'm afraid I'm going to have to be awkward still. I, I don't know if there's any knight that has ever been in this position. Certainly, it may change things, but I doubt that the court will allow you to rule with me by your side, but that might also be me thinking too far ahead. I know we've known each other for years, but yes, I trust you, my lord. Emphatically, unwieldingly, I trust you. All right, then. I will see to the barracks, then, or any number of tasks. I... <laughs> Thank you. I look forward to our discussion. Mm. All those years of serving have paid off, huh? <laughs> of course. I will straighten myself right away. Thank you, my liege. Hello, everyone. Happy Pride Month. This is an audio that I kind of came up with last minute, but it's based off a image that I found on Twitter. And lately I've been seeing a lot of artwork with knights and kings, etc. that have really sparked my imagination, and I know I don't do a lot of male-for-male -male audio, and I wanted to do something a little different. Me being a bisexual male, it's something that I want to encourage occasionally doing. I know this one's kind of unplanned, of course, most of my improvisations are, that's why they're called improvisations, but it's certainly something that I hope you enjoy. In the meantime, I do want to give out a shout out to all of my patrons. Without you, these things would be very much more impossible. Starting with Adriana Coop, Aurely Orgasmic, Carmen D, Crywolf883, 
Dancerwoman 22, Danny Capricorn, Dr. True, Emily, Frosty Love, Jamie Leigh Neal, Kayana Kokoro, sorry if I mispronounced that one, Lady Luthien, Mac, Mango Wolf, Knocked Music, Nikki Tupens, Inky Horror, Ocean Amber, Patchwork Cyborg, Shira, Tierra, Tori David, Void, and Zero Key Wolf. Thank you all so much for subscribing. And remember, you can find a whole bunch of audio, my entire library, for $10 a month, all my Safe for Work stuff, and for 15 all of my NSFW, including my exclusive audios that you won't find anywhere else. You'll occasionally find stuff on Reddit, and you'll find in my library my unexclusive NSFW work. Everything's kind of tied there, so if you want to listen to everything, binge it, or however, you can do so there. I highly encourage it. Be sure to like, favorite, share, and subscribe this audio, and, of course, leave a comment if you enjoyed it. If you want to see more of The Knight and the King, please let me know. In the meantime, I'll catch you in the next one. Sweet dreams and pleasant nightmares.